It is 3 p.m. and I have been spending the whole morning in my living room and for some of you, maybe most of you, that probably will sound like so yeah, whatever. For me it's quite a big accomplishment because of my depression and not only that, like as long as I remember I have been doing everything in my bedroom. So I'm trying to get out of my bed and to do more stuff outside of my bedroom and uh, I want to try to let the rest of the house also feel safe. I mean, I am very fortunate, I do have a nice living room. And my cats also like it, um, because they like laying on the bed with me. They do like it, but they love it even more if I'm just playing with them in, in the living room. So this really is my safe haven, and uh, right now I'm laying in bed. I've been laying here for one and a half hour, give or take. And um, I am allowing myself to lay in bed, but I'm also trying, like I said, to get out of my bed. So I have to do groceries right now. I'm not bingy, so that's a good thing. I need quite some groceries, so I'm thinking about going with the car. Normally I go by foot because it's very important for me to stay up and running and keep walking. Like it's a two minute walk or something, but I need quite some things, like I said, and it's quite heavy with all the bags. So after dinner, I'm planning on walking to also distract myself from binging. I want to break through this circle. So let's do that and I'll take you with me to the store. Um, uh, I don't want to go out of my bed, but I am going to. I just wanted to show you this tree because it's right in front of my house and it's super, super beautiful. Like the leaves, the yellow-ish. I love it. Immediately my cats are like, yay, we can go outside again. I'm trying to heat my house, come on. Or I'll lock you up, okay? <laughs> I'm going to close the door, but I'll just leave them for like until they're going to meow. So I dressed and um, I do feel a little bit gross because I haven't showered today or yesterday, um, but okay. I'm just going to the store and I feel a little bit guilty for going by car, but um, if I don't go by car, I will have to go like two times and I don't like going two times. So yeah, I'm just going by car and it's not that busy on Tuesday because today is Tuesday. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the store guys. I was driving by the store and I remembered like, oh yeah, I had to go to the pharmacy this week to pick up some medicine. So I'm there right now, I just picked up my medicine and now we're going to the store, so I'll see you there. By the way guys, what I just wanted to show you is I'm like in the washing aisle and like the animal care aisle and just look at how they make things tempting. So washing detergent and stuff like that and then you're walking and then it's like boom in your face. Like here and here in front of the magazines, like why? And then you make this turn to the healthy stuff and then again like boom, like why? why this combination like condoms and on these things it's like so funny A bag of potatoes i've never made enchiladas and i want to make them like next week or this week so i am buying some ingredients for those Okay guys, so let me pack this real quick. Also for my enchiladas, I have to carry this bag like five stairs. I'm definitely going to die because it's super super heavy. I'm super glad right now that I'm by car and not walking. So almost ready, I only have to get some fruits. So I'm going for a canned option, not for a fresh option because this is from 
that was a Dutch word, <laughs> because it's just way easier um, right now at this moment. I used to do fresh, but for right now, this is what I'm choosing. So let's pick something. Pineapple is always a good option. And then this one, the green one, I've never tasted this before, but it seems like apple, pear, and then also pineapple. So let's just try this. Okay, so I just managed to put everything here in the back of my car, so um, let's drive home for like 30 seconds and then let's bring it upstairs. Let's put this thing back. This is the thing that's inside of it. Normally people use like 50 cents, but um, yeah, you also can use these things like produced by grocery stores. Um, yeah, it's just to prevent people from taking the carts home. Uh, I survived. Kind of. And then the awning starts. <clears throat> so you saw me buying this. Um, I use this for like an in-between snack. I am not crazy about this. I do not like it that much, but that is what makes it an excellent uh, kind of snack. It's like, I can eat it, but it's not a binge food. So it's a safe food and that's why I buy it and I keep it in my house. I'm also stacking a few in my bag so that I can place them in my car tomorrow when I'm going to my appointment. And um, yeah, all kinds of fresh veggies. This makes me happy to see this. Okay, I need both hands. Ah, help. So this goes in here and I need in my fridge. What you're seeing right there, that's my cheese and then some fruit. That's my dinner for tonight. In the back there, there's some gravy for later this week and some pineapple for my uh, yogurt. Then I've got this bag of apples and I'm going to put that in there too. And that's about it. <laughs> my fridge isn't that big. What even is smaller than this and it's very annoying. Like this is my fridge, but I'm only alone, so it works for me. But then this fridge, it's like super, super tiny. I struggle with it sometimes. Like I always can make it fit, but um, yeah, I am thinking about buying a bigger freezer. Um, but on the other hand, that also means that I can store more Ben and & Jerry's and more Turkish pizzas because I binge on those lately. I don't know why, but um, yeah, I think because they're easy. But um, yeah, since I'm not eating bread regularly, let's put it in my freezer. I think I can fit like six loaves of bread in here, like with a little bit of effort. Um, but yeah, then it's just full. <laughs> I want to make enchiladas. I've never made those before. I uh, just looked online and uh, saw a few recipes and I was like, Ma, I don't know. I am very bad at following recipes with cooking, like with baking, I can follow recipes. But with cooking, I'm always like very stubborn and like, hmm, I think I should add some of this and some of this and then it ends up like completely different. But um, yeah, let's jam these in here. It's quite full, as you can see. Help. Oops. Hey, where's my spoon? There's my spoon, is it clean still? Yeah, fuck it. It's quite disorganized and I don't like it looking like this. So I think that I'm going to clean this out or well clean it up whilst cooking. I'm trying to balance this tripod, which is not mine because I still haven't found mine. This is my sister's. Stay. So it's the next day right now and I'm preparing to go to a meeting. I have to leave in four minutes, so I have to hurry a little bit. The only thing I have to do is like comb my hairs, <laughs> comb my hairs, comb my hair and then uh, put on some shoes and make some lunch. Yesterday I had a really good day. I ate exactly, woo, please stay. Yesterday I had a good day. I ate everything according to my eating plan. That was the first day that I stuck to it, like exactly, I think for the first time since like September 24th, since this whole big relapse started, you're going to fall again, I can see that. I'm sorry guys. Please put up with me for a little while longer. I'm very happy with that. And um, I know for me, I'm like this all or nothing person. And I know that once I break through the circle, like yesterday, I probably will break through it today and tomorrow also. So I am very excited about that. I did weigh in and I was shocked, like really, really shocked. I weighed like 156 kilos. That's like, I gained like 40 pounds or something. Like, is that even humanly possible in like two and a half months? Maybe it's water weight, I don't know, but I was pretty shocked with it. Um, I am going to weigh in at my appointment today for the first time with them. And um, 
I just hope they have a skill that can hold me because the skills around here normally go to like 120 kilos. Then after that you have like 150 kilos. Some go to 180 kilos and the one that I have goes to like 200 kilos. But I hope they have one that goes to 180 kilos because I surpass 150. Yay. And yes, that's sarcasm. I can only think about like I weighed 137 kilos and I gained so much like how the fuck is that possible like 20 kilos how am I going to lose it all and normally I'm not happy with losing weight until I hit my lowest weight like my previous lowest weight again so I will only be satisfied once I see like 137 kilos on my scale again but I do have to learn that like yes I gained weight and yes it sucks but even if I lose from this point on, just start new, start fresh, don't think about that 137 kilos because it's only going to set me up for failure. Oh, I'm ruining my hair, but believe me, normally my hair is so much smoother than this, but I didn't use like the conditioning stuff and I feel like I'm just wrecking my hair. So yeah, let's make some lunch. Okay, so it's a mess around here, so I'm preparing it here for once. Some pineapple. Some of this vanilla yogurt stuff. Not too much because last time I did too much and then I couldn't get the muscle in. Actually, I think I still have too much, but... Oh my god, I'm so stupid. No, I'm not. Wait. I'm smart. <laughs> so muscle little spoon with it and I am done. So this is what I'm having for lunch. I have to go. <laughs> Bye guys. I'm going to wash some laundry and this is my cat's bear and he loves it but I really need it to be washed because it's like super dirty and um yeah, he sucks on it and where he does that there's this whole like dark stain on it so yeah let's say goodbye to this cutie for now <laughs> oh look at this thing it's finally white again i've probably never seen it this white like since the last time i washed it but this spot right here it stays dark but that's because like my cat sees this i think as like a mother figure or something and he always is licking it right there in that spot so i've tried buying him new like stuffed animals but it's like he has this thing since he was born or well since i found him he only wants to cuddle with this stuffed animal so um it's still a little bit wet and also the scent is different but i'm going to see if he's going to do that right now <laughs> so here is my mister and here's his toy, his stuffed animal. <laughs> but he just loves like laying on his stuffed animal and then licking it. I know it's still wet, do you find it weird? No, are you just going to lay there? <laughs> Cutie. What do you think about his strange behavior? He's a little bit weird, isn't he? So yesterday I was making dinner but I just wasn't able to finish it and I stopped in the middle of it and I just ate some leftovers from the previous uh, day. So I only just cut this up and I have this because I made this yesterday, that's where I stopped. I made the mashed potatoes. Right now I'm cooking some vegetables and after that I'm just going to mix it together and add some meat. Yesterday while making this I wasn't having a really good day. At the end of it uh, it began good but um... You're making so much noise. Please stop. Thank you. But I was making this and I was adding some salt and then like the thing where the salt is in, I was pulling it a little bit too hard and then the whole top came off. I almost dumped like an eating spoonful of salt in there. So I tried to scoop it out. I have tasted it. It is a little bit salty, but um, I think that if I'm just going to cook this without any salt, I will be good. Um, and if not, yeah. I still have to eat, so... This sausage right here, I'm going to cut it into four pieces and I'm going to eat one quarter of it. So, like, I think this much 
give or take. The rest of this I'm going to store in my fridge and then also uh, half of it in my freezer to eat later. I'm going to just cut it up and then heat it up like really really simple but yeah. After dinner I have to get my car and take it to the dealer or well not the dealer but a place that inspects my car to see if it needs anything changed or whatever because otherwise I cannot go on the road again. So it has to be checked and I'm going to do that tonight. Yeah, I won't have a car until tomorrow morning I think or afternoon or whatever. So yeah, but I do not really need it so that's okay. So that's my plan for the rest of the night and I'm also going to edit and upload a video and that's about it. Thank you for watching guys. Like last week I uploaded a video about me making cookies because I had 100 subscribers and right now I have like 162 or something so that's really really crazy. So thank you for that and thank you for all your sweet words. To be honest it, I don't know, it feels as if I do not deserve them but I know that they are meant and that people took the time out of their day to type and it warms my heart but I still have a little bit of trouble with accepting it but um, that's something that's that's my that's my thing. I just have to learn those things too. Oh my god, this is me cutting meat. Like, seriously, every fucking time. You can't have any... I'm sorry. He's making eye contact like, please, please, I'm so hungry and please give me something. I probably give them something too often because otherwise he wouldn't sit there and beg. This is what I'm eating, just some mashed potatoes uh, mashed together with some veggies and then some gravy and some pieces of uh, sausage. So, buon appetit! Hey Lam Fam, so this is another day right here. I'm trying to make enchiladas, so I have some minced meat and some veggies. And then before this, I made this enchilada sauce right here. And um, yeah, to my mixture of veggies, I'm also going to add these, like some more kidney beans. After that, it's just like wrapping, covering with a little bit of the sauce, some cheese, and put them in the oven. I will show you the finished product. Here's what the mixture looks like with the beans added in. Right here I'm filling them and I'm only going to make two or three. Um, I have to see what's a portion size for me. And um, the rest I'll just save for later this week. A little bit of cheese on them and then they are ready. I don't have shredded cheese right now so I have to cut it myself. So yeah, forgive me for how it's going to look probably. This is what they look like before going into my oven and let's bake these things. This is what it ended up looking like. So um, yeah, bon appetit guys. Hey guys, so right now I'm sitting in my living room and as you may know, I do not do that often. I try to do it more often, so I'm waiting for the commercial to be over um, because I am going to watch the qualifying for the Formula 1. I like watching that. I just wanted to say hi really quick. And um, it is almost 8.30 p.m. right now and I have eaten healthy so far today. I have been thinking about going to the store, but I am really hard trying to um, distract myself and I just read a comment from Logan he said have a short-term memory so that really um, kicked in I'm just trying to think about today not about yesterday or the day before that just today I will talk to you later guys but for now I am going to end this video so thank you for watching and uh, thank you for all your kind reactions and you're not alone and we can do this